this tier of a couple of the most popular open source games or Linux games that you can play that are free of charge and you don't have to really play anything for them. One or two of them might unfortunately uh, require you to possibly uh, pay a little bit extra on the subscription to get one or two things additional, but uh, generally these things are all free to play and some of them you may have heard of, some of them you may not have heard of, and some of them are just available for fun here. So the first one, of course, is Battle for Wentz North or Wentz North. And Battle for Wentz North, of course, is a turn based strategy game uh, with a whole fantasy theme. So you can see um, here it's got stuff from maps uh, that you've got and the different levels and of course how you need to control your units uh, to do a couple of tasks, whatever your tasks are. Basically, defending your kingdom type style game and of course it's available on Windows, Mac and Linux. So definitely game uh, to look out for and uh, we'll take a look at that game a little later, so that's definitely the first one on, on the list. If you prefer a, a fast, a first-person shooter style game where you're running around and shooting stuff, then Contract Remained Zonotic highly enough. Basically, some of its uh, different levels that it's got, you run around with a distinctive weapons and you uh, shoot stuff at your enemies. Uh, online game. Uh, can play against other players, can also play against bots uh, locally and uh, really, really become extremely popular type game. And it's very similar to the old uh, Quake 3 style of gameplay. So that's something uh, to look out for and it's available on all three uh, platforms. Really easy to get installed. If you like uh, Age of Empire type games, and uh, a very popular one that exists, of course, is Zero AD. So it's also a strategy game, but it's a real-time strategy game set in antiquity. So basically what happens here is players can control any one of uh, old ancient civilizations. And as they build things up, it's really the best game to compare it to is uh, Age of Empires. Uh, Gamma had played before. And I thoroughly enjoyed it and quite amazed that it's a uh, a free game, really. Uh, I think the, the developers have done a fantastic job with this game and it really continues to get better. You'll find uh, it's still an alpha uh, phase, but really uh, been around for ages. I mean, you can just look here, you've got uh, Spartan, you've got Persian, you've got Egyptian, uh, even Brits aboard really uh, worthwhile to take a look at, so definitely something to look at a little later. If you want something a little bit uh, more no key, there's Free Civil, Free Simplization, which is an empire building game, and uh, uh, this is a type of game I can to put into Tangerine for hours, and um, I just see much more. And uh, the no key type of graphics, uh, similar to old civilizations and it's a bit of an old one but uh, still remains to be quite uh, popular and again it's also available on uh, the different platforms and still to this day and um, it's been developed on and they continue to make improvements uh, to the game. Then of course there is another open source first person shooter game and this is Red Eclipse. So of course Red Eclipse here, in some ways it's similar to uh, the Zonotic, where you also, of course, being a first person shooter, run around and uh, uh, fire at your enemy. Um, it's, it is a little bit different, of course, and um, the scan works. There's more to balance itself on gameplay and Agility in different type of environments. So it's not quite the same as uh, a lot of others. And uh, the only sad thing is, it looks like developments just slowed down. 
I mean, but still definitely work at a text member of that. So, you know, might as well be in a, another video, mate. Then, uh, something more for fun. Uh, just to, like, really, really for fun. If you played anything like uh, Super Mario Kart, this it is a, I suppose, a fun little clone, although it's not really a clone, it is a Super Tux Kart, which is a 3D arcade racer, as the name says. And you go around with uh, different characters here. And you go around and you race. And as you can see here, different levels and different characters. And you can be Tux, of course, and the mascot of Plinix. You can be Guna, the mascot of the Guna project. Um, and additional characters uh, as well, which of course uh, some of them come from. And mascots of some other different. Uh, well known open source and some not as well known company as applications. This is really just for fun, you know, if you just really want to go around with a bit of 3D racing as a penguin, uh, you know, why not? This exists. Again, uh, you know, first person she just become really popular. There's another one, uh, Warsaw. This one has been around since 2005, so it's pretty. Uh, a well developed and pretty well expected. Um, the other thing about it is there's not really much of a website for, for me to actually show you. So, uh, but like most of them, you have to jump, dash, dodge, or jump your way through the game. Um, so, incredibly emphasis on a customized ability as well as eSport features. You know, um, so they'll uh, take you to click this one a little later. But yeah, also another type of fun first-person shooter, if you even want to uh, try it. Um, and then of course this is another game that's available as a single-player or multiplayer. And basically this game is based on battle and generally using air naval and ground vehicles designed from different walls in the real world. Really great game list. And of course this is War of Unbound. And as you can see for yourself, uh, you have been in a war environment and you, of course, uh, get involved, whether it's with, uh, you know, uh, planes, tanks, navy, uh, you name it. Um, really great uh, game. And of course, this game is, well, it's really a branding game, actually. So it's available on PS4, Xbox One, PS5, Xbox Series. Uh, Windows, Mac, Linux, uh, etc. So, um, a very interesting um, game, and it has its own uh, um, launches, etc. And the nice thing, of course, it is uh, free to play, and it is cross platform, so uh, it should be interesting to take a look at quite high uh, for minimum specs. Um, um, so we might need a PC to get a little bit more ground to it, just to be able to grab it. Uh, but yeah, if we need uh, something to check out, it would be really great to see it available on so many uh, platforms at once. Okay, uh, if you grew up playing Worms and Worms Carnage and Worms 3D and all of these Twerms games. There is an online clone, of course, and that is Hitch Walls. And the best way to describe it is it's Worms with Hedgehogs. So, uh, it's a fun game. Uh, it's been around for ages. Not a lot of folks uh, probably know this game. And yeah, if you want to relive those old uh, worms days but you don't have uh, the original worms or you want to try it with a slightly different twist it's really close to the original here with very similar weapons as well and yeah runs on all three platforms pretty well and different theme worth uh something to try out so yeah keep pitchfalls in mind and of course and if you're looking for something that's a free-to-play fantasy 
uh, MMORPG. There is RuneScape, which has been around for many years, also available on multiple platforms. A uh, very popular game, and of course, is available on um, all three different uh, platforms. So, really worth uh, checking RuneScape out. Um, and I see they've now got a new uh, release, I quote, at Neuromancy. Also, one of these games that is uh, free to play, um, um, etc. So, really, really worth uh, trying this one out. Uh, really, really popular. Watch the games. And then, last one, the try is another strategy game, of course, is Warzone 2100. This uh, used to be a actually a pretty old game and uh, that was out many years ago, a strategy game and in about 2004 or earlier the original makers of this game actually went and uh, open sourced it and uh, as you just see in 2004 already bound, they released it up in the open license so you can continue to uh, play this game yourself and it's, you know been very popular, runs on most of the systems, a little bit old, but has been he's still getting uh, the re most regular updates here in Mac. And as you can see by the graphics, a little bit more old school, but uh, can be great fun to even play. So, yeah, folks, this is just uh, been a small rundown of some of these uh, type of open source games uh, that you can play. So, yeah, I would great uh, to play if you've got the time or you need to Linux and not too sure what to play and you don't have any more proprietary type of games uh, this is the list uh, all of these games are not actually are available as flat packs so no matter your system distro if you have flat packs you can uh, install these uh, just literally by uh, if you have flat hub pre added your machine you can just run with us at these command students or these games. This is still in active development and to figure as well to player online host lobby you could do single player or you can do a campaign or just go more matches so from some call you hear for example I can choose uh, random civilizations Choose the type of map. Let's call the map, reveal the map, um, and for example, start the game. And very quickly, of course, you can start getting your characters to start uh, doing whatever options they need to do. So, for example, here, if I need another person, just click on that, and they'll come out. Uh, let's say this one here, I need to start hunting for food. And let's say over here needs to have someone to do a farm stage. Let's pop the farm over there. Here I'm going to place another person. Of course, these are some current garrisons. So just hope that uh, no one tries to obviously invade. Uh, I think I have talked about this game though is. Ah, there's a couple more workers so I forgot about. So just uh, get them to do a proper building. Commands that you can do. Can... If this map gets big, with of course your our opposition on the other side of black, all lady building, etc. Okay, so that's. And look at this game. Totally good. So again, I'm just going to do a campaign. Ah, just a battle training campaign, you run the tutorial, do play, and as you see it's uh, here of course, how you can control your character, so you can go from the back, go some forward, but every year you need to do, uh, what's that, net income, a current clock, uh, etc. And of course, uh, clicking on it will tell you about the terrain description, uh, etc. And of course it works with turns as well, so let's just exit that. And I'm going to say in the turn. So 
So again, like less civilization games, again, it has the Kira Yui units, the nations, plus cities. Uh, and if you click on these, it gives you a whole lot of information. The settlers, the workers, the warriors, the explorers, um, your budget, your currencies, uh, and everything uh, between them. So you can, of course, uh, move your character around and uh, get them to ring or do what they uh, need to do. So basically, as it is here, you can play across the network or play locally. Uh, you can play a quick game against, you know, which I've chosen. And as you can see here, pretty normal uh, set of instructions. So again, choose your, your hedgehog and click menu. Choose your farming weapon. Hope for the best. Oh, don't do what I did. And of course, then the computer will take us turn this off. So basically, normal equivalent arms, uh, worms, at a worms club. Game or deathmatch has a very slightly cartoonish feel to it. Um, and of course, like these things, uh, going around, uh, head and it's fire or attack uh, your opponent. So a little bit different spin on the our FPS genre, at least with a couple of type of graphics. But um, yeah, it's still great fun. But if you have, of course, played another game like uh, Mario Kart, uh, very similar vibe and chill to it, and just in all, just a bit of great fun, really, to spend the time. So, that uh, really, really awesome. And then, that's yeah, just a great uh, sort of time waster, and uh, if you want. And so, yeah, it came off quite, quite a trick thing. And then, if you thought the other one had a cartoon foot to it, uh, this one was reminds me like uh, Sergino, uh, which was an old game. Uh, very, this has a real comic, but we could uh, kind of start to it. So, uh, another bit of a different take on a first person shooter. But, really worth, uh, really worth playing. I have thought this one can be a little bit tricky, but the rules of first first person shooters stay uh, the same here as normal. Run around and uh, beat the most, uh, have the most uh, weight. Again, this is a very old game that just exists. And it kind of reminds me of. Uh, none of these games from from that time period. So of course it'd go the bulb stuff, make sure it's constructed uh what's ever needed, and of course go and uh, make sure it's built. Uh after getting the uh, normal briefing, telling you that the scavenger is on the way and what you actually need to construct uh in that time. Of course you can zoom in Graphics looking a little bit outdated, but um, this worth taking a look at. ST probably out of if you were a Quake player back in the day, this is probably the closest to Quake, uh, especially for Quake the Arena type style and for uh, the style of the Shadow. Basically, this is really the closest we're going to get uh, to, to that or to open a wiener, which uh, isn't, hasn't, isn't a bit of a tree model, uh, but yeah, let's 
seems to have more game development and this being updated to the much newer. And yeah, what's uh, pretty well on a whole range of different uh, bits of hardware. So, pretty great uh, way to spend the afternoon. Okay, and this is just one uh, example here. Yeah. So, really uh, great bit of fun. As I said, it's not open source, unfortunately. And you can get this multiple platforms, but it's really great to know that this is available on the mix and uh, even available as a flat pack. So I think that's actually pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And uh, a great game. And of course, uh, I'm just going to show you footage from, from the air, but you do have uh, in other parts of our uh, VR army that you can battle with. And you can get your parasites to do whatever I need to do. Whether it's going to act, act to a different character, uh, etc. And of course, this game, uh, different platforms, so another type of thing you can refer to cards of time as well.